In this video, I'll be sharing with you how you can set up Facebook conversion API in ClickFunnels. So I'm going to talk about these three things. First of all, is where do you get the token for the conversion API to be installed in ClickFunnels. Second is where do you install it in ClickFunnels and how do you do about it inside the funnel itself. The third thing is also just to check whether the data is able to be sent through server into Facebook Events Manager. Right? And without further ado, this could be a bit complicated. So yeah, let's go into the computer and I can show you how this can be done. Let's go. First of all, you need to set up in Facebook, which is all the token for conversion API and things like that. If you have not done domain verification, please do that first. I have a link to one of my videos which is talking about domain verification, whether you use ClickFunnels, WordPress, or you want to directly verify the domain in your Nameship account. Right? So it's very simple to be done. So yeah okay so next thing we want to do is go to your facebook business manager uh, whether it's business suite or business manager itself same place all you have to do is just click on the more tools the three lines and click on events manager same thing as business settings just click the three lines and go to events manager just click on it okay so now choose the pixel that that you want so this is the pixel that i want to use right and then you go to settings then you go all the way down, make sure the automatic advanced matching is turned on, right? Then you will go down all the way, right? Then you see here, generate access token. So this is where you're going to use the token to put in the click funnels. So you just have to generate access token, click on it, and then you will get a token, right? You can save this somewhere else. Now you got your conversion API token. So this token will be put inside click funnels. Let's go to click funnels and get it generated. Uh, now you go to click funnels. Right, you need to link the ClickFunnels to Facebook account. So this is a bit different. It's not just using code like what we usually do for installing Facebook Pixel. Uh, you can check in one of my videos on how to install Facebook Pixels. So now you just go on top right, go to account settings. And then you scroll all the way down to integration. Just click on the integration part. Then you click add new integration. So for this case, we are going to use Facebook. So let's just click on Facebook. Um, just use any name. Um, I'll just use Facebook again, for example, right? Then we just connect integration. So if your browser is already linked to your Facebook account, then it will automatically come out this one. If not, you have to just log in, right? So I just continue. There, and it's success, right? Successfully created. Okay, then you just have to go to integration. And you see it's here, Facebook can, right? So now you need to put the Facebook conversion API token. So let's just do it now. You go to domain. So domain I'm going to test is this one, right? Uh, Digitalize stuff if you can. Click on three dots behind, beside, click edit. Then you see here got Facebook conversion pixel. So you have to do is just click expand. Add. The integration. Um, just now we use can. Right, okay, I'll show you what's the main problem that I found out when using this in ClickFunnels, right? Um, I have tried two accounts. Um, the other account have a lot more pixel. So for example, like this one, I only link to two pixels. So you can see there's only two pixel. But for example, if I have my another account, right, which have a lot more pixel, then things got a lot of com very complicated. Complicated, never mind. The problem is that I'm not able to search anything more than this. There are actually I have actually more pixels that I'm, I'm actually linking into, just that I cannot find, right? They only have limit of this many being shown. So there's only limit of how many I can find uh, that they can populate here. And as you can see, I have longer than that. I cannot find my pixel, so I have to use another account. This could happen when you do client work where you have a lot of clients. You might want to use client, ask client to put in their Facebook integration inside instead because they will have um, less pixel compared to when you work with agency then you have a lot of pixels on, right? So let's let's choose the account again. Let's click here, click on Facebook can, and then I'm going to test is the can on one pixel, right? Let's click on that. And I'm going to put a token here, paste a the token. Then it just save. And it's there. All right. So next thing you need to make sure that your funnel is actually linked to this. I mean, your funnel is actually linked to this domain. So how you do that, right? You go to, for example, go to your funnels. So for this case, I'm using test funnels. So just click on it. As you can see, um, this is using ClickFunnels domain, not using the, the other domain. So what you're going to do is we're going to change the domain to the domain that, that we are using this now. So go to settings and then you just click the domain, digital lifestyle you can, and then you just click save and update settings and there you see everything has been changed to a new domain right so now you want to install 
the Facebook event inside this funnel. So usually, for example, you want to do lead, right? You want to install lead, then you usually put in thank you page. So when people apply, go inside, then only when reach thank you page, then they become as lead. So you go to thank you page, click on edit page. Okay, so now you're in thank you page. Go to settings, go to Facebook pixel, you see here? Click on it, right? So it's connected to this. So now you can choose an event. Let's go to lead, right? So if people reach this page, they get the lead event. Then you just save. Now sometimes you want to put view content in the first page. Okay, let's just put there. Let's go exit and go to first page. Edit. Go to settings, so the Facebook pixel. You can see it's connected. Because it's linked to the domain, so it's connected. So you have to click here, event. Then you just say view content. Now you have linked the token with ClickFunnels and you're linking it to the domain and now the domain is linked to a funnel. Right? And that's, that's how you, you add, add it in. Alright, so now you have linked all of that. Now you can want to check whether it is populated inside the event manager, right? So now you go to the event manager. So this one, I actually, I actually stopped the video for a while and it is like 30 minutes ago, then only appear. So it is it does not appear straight away, you have to wait. So uh, when you click on the preview page, for example, you click on this link, right? Then you open up this link. Right? When you open up link, this link, then they will have they will send the server data, which is the validation event here, or page view event here, see browser and server. Because I put the page view inside here, right? And then you can see there's browser and server. Right? You can see and when you view details. You can see which page that is coming from, which is the opt-in page. So this is all the server side, right? So that means it's, it's linked already. Uh, but Converge API and Pixel is different. So for Converge API, you don't have any Chrome extension to show whether it is linked or not. So you can only check in the event manager and see whether it is appeared here. Even when you do tests also, you cannot check. So because usually testing these test events, they, they require some coding. Uh, and the server side, which we cannot access to when we're using ClickFunnels. So you can only check the event that comes in. As you can see here, you can see the events are already here, right? Even the lead event, you can see that it's already here. And just go details. So this is the thank you page, all right? So it, it's okay, it's there, right? So you can see here, there's nothing. For this, you still have to manually install the pixel inside the page. And this can be done, uh, I have a video to show you how to install the pixel, right? Whatever I show you just now is mostly just for conversion API. And uh, as long as you can see that it's inside your server, I mean, you can see the event and then there's a connection method through server, that means you're already linked through server. And yeah, that is good enough. And that is how exactly you link between conversion API, you know, get the token to click funnels. And then after that, you check in the event manager and you can see that it is in server here, then yeah, all good to go. This is still quite new, right? So um, things might change maybe within the next few months or next month or next year. So yeah, just stay tuned. But this is what you can do for now for ClickFunnels, all right? So that is how you can install Facebook Conversion API inside ClickFunnels. So uh, as mentioned just now, it is not just putting in the Facebook Conversion API inside ClickFunnels as well. You still have to install Pixel because the Facebook Conversion API is not being tracked very well by the plugin and it just means that you need to have both. You need to have the browser side and also server side for better tracking. So you do need to implement two. So apart from doing Conversion API, you need to install Pixel in the ClickFunnels account as well um, based on uh, one of my video where I show you how you can do it. So just make sure to do both of them to have better tracking, right? If you like what I share and you find it useful, do give me a thumbs up and give me a like in this video. And if you're not subscribed to this channel, why not? I talk a lot about digital marketing and entrepreneurship. So if you're interested in this kind of topics, niches, do consider subscribing to this channel, turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. I hope this is helpful for you. And yeah, I see you in my next video. Goodbye.